Hey guys, this is Joshua up in Montreal. I uh, just wanted to talk about regenerative braking for a bit. I'm up here at the Montreal Lookout. So it's about 800 feet high. And I came up with my fatty cycle uh, Schmidty here that I've converted to uh, a two-wheel drive bike. So I took the hub motor out. I put a strong uh, mid-drive and then a crystallite direct drive motor there. So instead of using it as a, a, a drive wheel, I actually use it for regen. So I hooked up a second throttle here. I have my drive throttle there, my second throttle here. So with regen, if you guys are interested in building bikes um, with a mid-drive, with regen, they say it can't be done unless you have something like a spoke monkey. But um, we did it with the help of a, a really good wheel builder. If you're in the Montreal area, I can also reference you. So this is the H series. It's the 3540 uh, Chris Lake motor. That thing weighs about like 18 pounds. It's uh, pretty darn heavy for, for a fat tire bike. It's built into a, a 16 inch rim. It's called a 20 inch by four inch, but it's really a 16 inch rim. So I just wanted to talk about the capabilities of uh, regen. So I climbed the hill up from uh, the downtown area where I live and operate, and that's an 800 foot climb. There's the St. Lawrence River. That's just a few feet above the ocean level. So 800 foot climb, and with regen, I'll be, I'll be uh, capturing energy back into my battery all the way down. So what is regen? What is regenerative braking? Well, it's kind of like a process of um, recovering energy, kinetic energy, and turning it back into electricity, back into your battery. So, of course, there's the old flywheels that they used to use, and they actually still use in some industries, and for uh, power storage. But this is electrical regenerative braking. So, why use it on a, on a bike or a cargo bike? Well, on a normal bike, you get about uh, 2 to maybe 5% uh, return on the power that you put into your movement um, but on a cargo bike I've heard of guys getting between 20 and 30 percent um, back into their motor uh, so that's that's uh, really really good and as far as the wiring it's so messy right now I'm a bit embarrassed but uh, that's the way it is when you're uh, when you're building bikes you've got to kind of learn as you go so that's why I use it. I also tow a trailer for my business. And sometimes that trailer weighs 300, 400 pounds. Plus I'm 240, I'm a big dude. Plus this bike, it probably weighs 100 pounds. So you do the math. That's how much power gets going. That's how much kinetic energy um, builds up when it, I'm in movement. And then when I'm hauling down a hill on my 203s here, those are Z-brakes. Those things heat up to the point where they are literally billowing smoke out of the calipers. So that's why I use Regen. So I can use maybe uh, 80 or 90% of my braking need power needs through that motor. So that's one reason why I use uh, Regen and why you should too. Also, brake pad wear. So my busy season, I'm spending over $100 on uh, brake pads um, per month. That's per month, $100 to replace these brake pads at least once a month. So I buy them in bulk. It's not a problem, but it's really more for me, it's the time. And we know that time is money. So I'm uh, spending maybe, I don't know, it takes maybe an hour to change out my brake pads, hook all the wires back up. But instead, uh, I'm hoping to save uh, some money. So in about eight months, this wheel build, it wasn't cheap. I can tell you that, but in about eight, seven or eight months, it paid for itself with not having to change out my brake pads on uh, my cargo bike. So that's why I use it. And also, uh, an interesting little study that I read that uh, brake, brake uh, wear, the dust that comes out of brake pads into our cities that we breathe the air afterwards, it's worse than diesel. So that's one reason why... Uh, I like have satisfaction when I'm using my regenerative braking. So of, care, of course you need a direct motor, so that's just magnet and stator, it's no gears, no planetary gears inside, you will not be able to um, have regenerative braking if you do that. 
Of course, you can get the uh, the Grin Technologies G Mac, and some guys do hack uh, geared motors to be able to uh, use Regen. But that's uh, that's going that's a deep dive, man. I'm not at that level yet. So, uh, and if you have a cargo bike and you're sick of uh, stop and go traffic or coming up and down big hills where you're losing uh, a lot of brake power, try Regen braking. Um, get a motor, even if you're not using it as a drive wheel set it up because it's, it's definitely worth your time and if you have any questions on how I did that I use the uh, Grin Technologies phase runner here I'm being uh, in inundated by uh, snowshoers here snowshoeing tourists that I'm gonna have to pass on my way down the hill so I can't uh, even hear myself thinking so that's regenerative braking on a mid-drive mini bike it's a fatty cycles it's um it's like the Super 73, um, but uh, even better. But it has the, because uh, it has the mid-drive, among other features, with the regen in the front. <laughs>